Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I've just been doing a bit of grinding, getting some experience for our characters, and uh, everything is going quite well. And so, today is going to be the day. I'm getting my my uh, ranged my ranged guys up. So, a couple of things have changed since the last episode. We are now at peace with Batania. And we are currently just working on getting our influence up and uh, training up an army. And uh, I have installed a couple of quality of life mods since you've seen me last. Um, number one being uh, Bannerlord Tweaks, which basically just gives a couple of things here and there to help make the game a little bit less grindy. And then we also have uh, Smith Forever, excuse me, Smith Forever, which is an attempt to uh, reduce the grind from smithing. Super nice. And uh, I think that's about it. So, my game has been crashing a couple of times whenever I join these tournaments, but I upgrade updated my uh, my mod, so I'm hoping that that fixes it. Looks like we're good. Yes, very good. So let's do these guys here. Beautiful. We're just gonna go through here and kill off all these dudes. Nice. Got Paul. Got the Blandian Sergeant. Yikes. They hit my horse. Got the footman. Got him. Oh, apparently the green team is still going strong. Got the recruit. Oh, they're, they're archers are over here. I didn't even see them. Beautiful. Apparently there's a uh, cavalry over here. Nice. Okay, cool. 2v2, baby. There's a sergeant. Oh, that might be a pikeman, actually. Let's go back our dude up. Nice, got the pikeman. So we got a 2v2 here. We got Karaslav, our brother over here. Come on, Karaslav, take him out, buddy. Oh, he took Karaslav out. I don't believe it. Yikes. We might be in trouble here. Yeah. Oh, we did qualify, though, so we're good. Me against Karaslav. All right, brother. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah. That's what I thought, brother. Take it. Take it. Nice. We're in the final against the champion here, so he's got some armor on. Let's see what we can come up with here. A little 1v1. mono we mono baby. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, yikes. Hit me in the head. Got me. Got him. Nice. So far, so good. He backed up. Nice. Should be like one hit. There we go. Wonderful. Actually, don't even know what the weapon it was we got. Yes, so uh, I think that that um, the mod that I'm talking about increases the renown as well as gives you a little bit of earnings just to make it a little more worth your while, especially late game, because um, late game tournaments are not as useful. So let us go to trade here. We need to make sure we have as much hardwood as we can possibly get, so it's affordable here. We'll take it all, and we're gonna enter the smithy. We are going to do this. And now we don't have to worry about uh, stamina, which is nice. And so we can actually upgrade our smithing level here. More charcoal sounds good. Crude iron more efficiently. Three units of crude iron from one unit of iron ore. I'd rather have the, uh, the stuff there. And you just come in here and you just... Beautiful. And you can use that to get a few more and then same thing here. There you go. Now our smithing's all the way up to 27. And we don't have to wait like multiple days in between every every uh, 
updated that. So that's kind of annoying. So I'm glad that we got that sorted out. Make some money from there. Sell off all this clothing. We'll get, get rid of the Sumter horse as well. And just like that, we're good to go. We are at our limit as well. So we just need to train up, do a little bit of grinding on some looters, and we should be good to uh, get to war again. That's, that's what I'm hoping we can do here in the near future. Also, I put on the motion blur, so I hope that you guys like the motion blur a little bit. I um, had it off before because I felt like it looked nicer, but it actually does look a little more smooth than what motion blur I'm used to in the past. So let's see what we can come up with here. Hopefully we can find some looters. So as far as our income, taxes are not that good. I don't know what this 18.55 is from land tax. I assume that's money that I have to pay, but I don't know why it's a decimal. Anyways, our caravan is not doing so well for Vuitton right now, but our taxes are covering a decent amount, but then we also have a large garrison there because it is on the front line, so vote on forgiveness of debts. Let's see here. I will not worry about you. There we go. Beautiful. Not going to worry about the loot. Let's hit K and open up this. So... Settlement loyalty is increased by two per day, and production is reduced by five. Limits to the degree to which lords and merchants can lend their tenants and employees and then demand repayment. I will abstain from this one. I don't particularly care about it. Um, speaking of that, though, I would like to probably head over to Provind and buy myself a, a workshop. That's something that I've been getting a lot of comments about. Make sure you go to workshop, workshop, workshop. Let's see what we got available to us. So let's take a look at the surrounding towns. So we got grain, olives, flax, hogs, hogs, grapes, grain, olives. So we have a lot of olives and we have a lot of grain and hogs. Well, I think the flax is the one that jumps out at me. Um, so it's... Let's wait here until morning time and see if we can maybe talk to somebody who might be interested in selling me their business. So, we have declared war on the Northern Empire. Well, here we go. It's time to go to war. Doesn't really make sense to be jumping over there. Uh, I kind of wish that it was a little more sensical about where... Like, we should be at war with Batania since they are the one with the border disputes. But uh, it is what it is. Let's see here. Uh, the Carpenter. Let's see if you want to uh, sell your, your, your workshop to me. This is a, a way to get around having to walk through town. Sometimes you'll spawn outside the town and you have to walk through it, which is a total pain in the booty. Um, my name is... Yes, we could form another caravan, but I would rather just buy your workshop. Let's see, here's Karaslav. So, where am I at here? Wood workshop. Okay. Let's head over to something closer. Jeez, OP. The wine press. There is some grapes around here. Maybe a wine press wouldn't even be too bad of an idea, right? Let's take a look. So we're going to find one of the workers here. A shop worker. I would like to buy this workshop. Yes, 14,000 sounds good to me. An olive press does sound pretty good. Hmm. We also have a lot of hogs in the area. Let's go with the olive press. See how that works for us in the long term. So we paid 14,000 dinar, and then uh, we will just hold off on that. So we have a few recruits still, so we need to grind a few more little armies. Their third is creating an army, which is fine. Um, I would like to level these guys up just a bit. We also have 14 men that need to be healed up, so. We have 22 recruits still, so that's uh, that's not nothing. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's head over to Ox Hall. Speaking of that, let's actually see here. Does our party... We are the only one. This garrison looks okay, actually. So at least we know Drimor Castle, which is on the front line, is at least somewhat safe. So our daily gold change is very weird looking. It's quite a lot of decimals you got there. Let's join this tournament. Last little hurrah before we get out of here. A kettle helmet over mail. Sounds good to me. Got him. 
Nice. Not you, apparently. Oh, he shot me. He got me. Belgare is dead. So is the mercenary horseman. So is Paul. That was uh, Indruna. Idruna. There's the infantry is gone. Got him? I've definitely gotten a lot better at uh, pole arms than I used to be. Got him. Let's take out Karaslav, my brother. There you go, Karaslav. And again. Very good. So it's just the two of us. The Valandian veteran spearman just drilled my guy. Helping our guys out there. Oh, he got me. Jeez, man. Come on now. Could couch the lance, I suppose, but I'd rather just take him out like this. Let's see here. Let's couch our lance. Aye, aye, aye. Couch the lance again. The tree. The freaking tree. Hey, they got him. Nice. Let's skip here. We'll fight this hired blade. You can see my mustache. Very nice. Hmm. Got him in the face. In the face. Nice. Got him. Blandian Volgear. Some double handed. Two handed, baby. Where are you going? Where are you going? Got him. Nice. Not bad at all. Very good. Yeah, three renown is a bit low. I think it should scale into the late game, honestly. But uh, so let's take a look at this helmet that we got. Yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> it's better than what you've got on. So I'll give it to Paul Karaslav. Sounds good. Okay, so let's see here. Who would we be able to recruit? Belgir? 12 is fine with me. 12 is fine. 95 for 20 is good. 25 for Catalid. All right, fine. And we wait here for everybody to join up. And we just hang tight. We're going to have an army of about a few hundred strong, so that'll be really good. We'll be able to get us some sieging done. And we're going to have plenty of, of uh, influence left over to... Uh, Oh, wait, you left? I already paid for it, brother. Dude just left our kingdom as I was his army was coming in to join me. Well, that's unfortunate. I suppose it's only 18, so let's take you as well. Catalid is going to be a... Or Kaladid is a big one. Um, my leadership skill is going up as well, which is great. We're waiting on her, and there we go. We have a nice juicy army here. So let's head on over to uh hmm, which one makes the most sense? This Mazdahan castle does make sense. So let's head over that way and take a sip of my water while we're in transit here. It's gonna take us a few days to get there, but uh I'm not too concerned. Food is one thing I am a little concerned about. Let's take a pit stop in Tormelina. my land let's see here if we can buy some food here cotton yeah it's not very helpful I had to car ban stuff then yeah soundtrack is beautiful in this game I tell you what lots of looters too I would love to beat up on them but I will I will I will not I'll hold off on it so let's trade some food grain grapes fish I will supply you all Beautiful. 
So where are we heading again? Mazdan Castle. The ideal is that we can take that, have the influence to uh, also take um, Epicodia, Epicodia, and then give it to ourselves with influence. That's the ideal. That's what we're looking for. But uh, we'll see. Oh, our leadership is going up. What? Holy crap. Is it really going up that fast? I think it was just at like 29. Interesting. Apparently having this big ol' army is helping us out a bit. So the Olive Press is making a little bit of money. Hopefully it will scale up over time. This music is so gorgeous. Yeah, our leadership skill is scaling up quite quickly. Let's take a look at what this... Uh... Two forty. We can totally handle this. Let's besiege the castle. Now I would probably just build a battering ram. No. At least one of these. I don't want to destroy these towns because I'd like to have this castle for myself. That's the ideal. Hey, Griffith, do you want in on this? I don't think you do. So our leadership has increased. What does that translate to? Additional 20 morale when attacking. Beautiful. We will be attacking here, so... A little bit of extra morale would certainly be nice, right? Let's speed it up here. Food is looking okay. Once we take the castle, we'll be able to uh, handle most of the food that we're looking for. Engineering is going up as well, slowly but surely. Daily gold change. We actually gained money. Very nice. Oh, that caravan of Vatan is doing wonderfully. Certainly worth the investment, it seems. All right, almost ready. Need to make it quick. Food is running low. He's re getting recruits from our guys as we're from these villages as we're about to siege down the main holding, which is hilarious. Omor has taken. So where is Omor? Let's take a look here. Settlements. Let's go with Omor. O M O O. Omor. It is Sturgeons. So it looks like it's in the north. Let's take a look here. Who's who's able to vote for it? Hmm. I suppose I'll just hold off on this one. Let's lead an assault. These beautiful, beautiful scenic battles here. And I've actually upped my number. So up to 650 um, from 300. So auto deploy. Now frame rates on these battles is never that good. But hopefully it's at least watchable for you guys. So how many men do we have in here? 63. We have 63 men in the fray here. It's not bad. So we're just going to hang back. These guys will get into position all on their own. Smart AI. Handling the battling rams and then the two uh, things. Now our, mar our archers will make their way up slowly over time. Get into position here. There's a random fire in the middle of that field. Get a couple of shots off if we can. Not sure with where my arrows are going. Ooh, catapult. Nice. So the the battering ram is getting up there, which is wonderful. Come on now. So they actually don't seem to have a whole lot of archers right on the way. This is beautiful. Oh, they're hitting me. Hit in the head. Got him. So they have two down. We have, or they have one. So they're knocking on a couple of our crossbowmen. All right, they're getting here. Come on now, my aim is so bad. 
killed one of my recruits. No, not my recruit. They did kill a recruit, though. Got him. All right, let's dismount and get ready to run in. This is gonna be fun. I will lead the fray with my of the battering ram. Let's go, boys. Yeah, get it. Thirteen cut damage. Overpowered. Got him, very good. All right, let's head on in. Yeah, the frame rates are definitely not ideal here. Help them break it. Looks like they're not doing a whole lot of damage to it. I'm not gonna lie to you. What are you guys doing, huh? Oh, they opened it up. Let's go in. He got me. Oh man, these guys are drilling me. No sword. Let's get back. Oh, they closed the door? Yo, what? They closed the door on us. This is so wrong. Okay, our guys are breaching the walls though, so I think we're good to head in. Get that guy out of there. Okay. Let's handle these dudes like they deserve to be handled. Yeah. The, uh, the lag on these battles is... Definitely a little bit of a... We're surrounding them. Big ol' sword just dropping them on them. They're gonna try to run. We wanna massacre them. Don't let them out! Don't let them out! I can't run. I'm too slow. Here's these guys coming. The archers are, run archers are running down. Good. Oh man. Went too berserker on him. It's fine. We've lost nine, but I'm assuming uh, it's mostly footmen, so that's understandable. A couple of crossbowmen as well. One crossbowman, and then the rest are all footmen and infantrymen, so. This should be okay. I think we can spin, fin this one, finish this one up, I'm trying to say here. And it's hardly any losses for us. Beautiful. Only 12 for my party. Wonderful. Alright. We'll take you guys prisoners for sure. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of you. More footmen that we're going to need. Take all the loot, because why not? And then, uh, who deserves this castle but myself? It is mine now. Um. Oh, wait. I thought that was what I was just voting for. What the heck? Um. What? Did I just take a different castle? Yeah, it looks like I did. Is that the one that I... Oh my goodness gracious, hold on a second. Which one did I just take? Oh, more? Did I just take this? I did, didn't I? I took the city. I suppose that's okay with me as well. Let's head over here. Rest up for a few days. We definitely need more food, so... Hmm. Oh, my game just lagged pretty good there. I don't imagine we're fast enough to catch these guys, so... Let's head over to Amor. 
This is nice though because my income is going to be uh, very much, my personal income I should say, is very much going to be positively affected. So I don't think you get the influence from that, but that's fine. Let's recruit some troops. Uh, Sturgeons, I'm not sure about Sturgeons. Let's get some food though. They have no food. Sadly. Now we do have a lot of horses that we could slaughter if we needed to, but um, let's see here. Where do we go next? I think these castles up to the north are the next logical targets, but uh, we'll figure that out in the next one. So at least we got a siege down and we got everything sorted out today. So let's get all this turned up there and then uh, we'll go to war. But I'm going to rest up for a few days here, let our armies heal up at least a bit. And then hopefully, hey, there we go, we got some grain that just got sold here, which is wonderful. We're going to need a lot of that. All of it. And uh, that should feed us for a few more extra days, so that'll be good. Hope you guys are enjoying. Please share your support, leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more Bannerlord. And then if you want to check out the Discord or support what we're doing on Patreon, the links for those are in the description below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaren Clampett, Lamb the Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.